We're really thankful for everyone's thoughtfulness in approaching this big decision on really the land use and really future of the Oakland waterfront. We have a really incredible project. Uh, go to the next two slides. So, um, here at the waterfront, as you can see, this is the existing Howard Terminal, but then this is the vision we have for really the edge of Jack London Square, uh, the existing commercial area, and really for the Oakland waterfront to really reach its potential from a commercial perspective, while also preserving the operational effectiveness and economic engine of the port and all its operations. We believe very strongly that there can be a thriving port and a thriving ballpark at the waterfront. And we have come up with a plan working hand in hand with the port, the city, the maritime stakeholders to hopefully accomplish that in an effective way. And so you can see we have this incredible 34,000 seat ballpark. Um, it's actually a little jewel box, um, same design in terms of the actual bowl seating as Fenway Park, a rooftop park that's going to be open 365 days a year, 18 acres of public open space, uh, which is just going to be an incredible community amenity housing, including affordable housing, commercial, uh, as well as retail and a performing arts center. Um, so you see, it's just an incredible vision for the waterfront, billions of dollars in private capital. Go to the next slide. No. You know, another incredible, you know, view from the water, looking right in, actually even seeing the playing surface, just an amazing project and one that we feel can be done um, really in a very responsible fashion. If you go to the next slide, you can see that from the beginning, we have designed this with the maritime stakeholders in mind. We've worked very closely with the port. One of the key considerations was the expansion of the turning basin and creating a maritime reservation scenario. This was a big concession initially on our part about four years ago when we negotiated with the port commission. And as you can see, we have a design um, for an expanded turning basin and one, if it's not, um, actually expanded. And either way, our agreements with the port um, can accommodate that. And we have actually a land plan, if you go to the next slide, that actually demonstrates that. So you see we have kind of a smaller footprint. There's more actually water open space for the uh, larger ships to turn. And that's an important consideration to ensure that this use is compatible to the existing maritime, which is an economic engine for the entire Bay Area. So if you go to the next slide, as you can see, some of the key attributes of the project, we have the toxic soil remediation, which obviously wouldn't happen any other way if not the project wasn't moving forward. Uh, we have the race and equity based community benefits process, which has been very important in terms of crafting things like the affordable housing, environmental justice, jobs and workforce benefits for the entire community. We have the sea level rise adaptations that come with the project, GHG neutrality, lead gold buildings, like I said, the 18 acres of public open space um, and even a mile and a half of the Bay Trail. So there's just so many different green aspects with AB 734. This is one of the greenest projects in the history of the state and the local offsets of the greenhouse gas emissions will be, they will be local. So that'll have a very positive impact on the local West Oakland community. Go to the last slide. As you can see, like I said before, the 35,000 capacity um, ballpark, the retail space, 270,000 square feet, 3,000 residential units, including affordable housing, over $7 billion in economic impact, union project, union built, uh, hundreds of millions of dollars in community benefits, and something that we think can be very beneficial to the A's, to the city, to the port, to the entire Bay Area community, and to ensure that the A's retain their role as really a great um, you know, driver of, of, of the community in Oakland. And we're here for many generations to come. So I wanna turn it over to Danny Juan with the port, who's gonna take up the next leg of the presentation. Uh, once again, I wanna really thank everyone for their thoughtfulness in approaching this big decision. And obviously I'm here uh, to answer any questions at any time. 